I'm back again. Number three. Hi everybody. How are you doing? Hi everybody. I don't know what I was saying. Hi everybody. How are you doing tonight, today, this morning, good afternoon, wherever you may be? Um, I wanted to kind of start out with a mini review of some of the stuff I got um, in my last two hauls because I did try on that corduroy, The it's this color, the corduroy textured sweatshirt and it was just a little bit too tight. So I gave it to my daughter. She liked it. She really liked it. It'll be big on her, but we like them big like that. And that's what I was hoping that it would be. But I, I kind of knew because size 14, not normally going to fit me. Anyway, um, the Earl shirt, the shirt that I got actually for her, the burgundy one that says, um, some of y'all don't know what Earl did and it shows. <laughs> she actually really liked it. She doesn't really like the material, but... Um, she did love the saying and it just brought back a lot of memories for her of her and her bestie making up a dance and singing it and doing it over and over they just loved that song so anyway she said she'll she'll wear it she'll most likely wear it because she just loves what it says and she was actually going to text her best friend and tell her that and show her you know like send her a picture of it and just get the kick out of that anyway um the shapewear tank camisole whatever that i got i tried that on i actually wore it yesterday and it fits and it's hard to get on man i forgot how hard shapewear is to get on but it fits and um but it's a little big i think it would suck me in better if it was a little tighter even though i know it's going to be harder to put on but it's really long and it's just it's really long so i pulled it down and it went all the way to the bottom of my butt and it's just you know it's supposed to be a camisole so i don't think that's gonna work i mean i'll i'll i can still wear it it still sucks me in a little bit it helps a little bit but um sure was hard to put on it's got some really tight squeezing going on so i know that was a 3x so i know the 2x is going to be even harder to get on and i put my stuff like that i have some neck and back issues and shoulder issue a little bit it's not too bad anymore but um so i put my stuff on like any of my tank um camisole tanks and stuff i put them on from the bottom up so it was tough. It was really tough to put that on. I know the 2X is going to be tougher, but I'm hoping that it will just fit a little better. You know, I don't want to have a panty line at the, a big line at the bottom of my butt because my shirts don't normally cover my whole butt. So anyway, that's that. The kids socks that I got, my five-year-old granddaughter, love them. She thought they were the greatest thing since sliced bread. Um, she was so excited. Oh, thank you, Mimi. Thank you. Thank you. And then when her mom got, when she got picked up from school by her mom, I guess she was talking to her mom about it because my daughter came in and said, you bought her some new socks? And I said, yeah, I got her some socks. And oh, she just couldn't stop talking about them. She was so excited. And then, you know, can we take them out of the bag? Can we wear them right now? I said, well, I think we need to wash them. And she says, yeah, let's wash them, let's wash them. And <laughs> so we washed them. And then last night she took a shower and she came down with these other socks that I had bought her for Christmas. And I said, oh, I thought you were gonna wear your new socks. She goes, well, I think they wa they're washing. And I said, oh, that's right. I said, well, maybe you can wear them tomorrow for school. I get her ready for school in the morning. And I said, well, you can wear them tomorrow if you want. Yes, yes. So first thing this morning, she was like, where's my socks? I said, I think they're in the dryer. So we, um, we checked and they're not all of them were dry, but there just happened to be a couple pair that were dry. And uh, so we got them out and she was so excited. And she said, Mimi, they're so soft. That was so cute. I mean, she's my baby. I've been with her. I've been taking care of her exclusively since she was like six months old. She's like my own kid. 
So when she says stuff like that, it just melts me. It really does. And over just some socks, you know. Uh, <laughs> she's too much. Another story about her. She's so funny. Another thing. She um, got a Barbie. She got her first Barbies for Christmas. And then her mom, she says, I want a Barbie house. I want a Barbie house. And so her birthday is in January. And so... Um, her mom and dad decided to get her the Barbie town dream house. I think that's what it's called. It's something that I wanted when I was a kid. They still make them. They almost look the same. They're a little more um, modern looking or whatever. But I remember I wanted one so bad when I was a kid. And <laughs> so she kept saying, I want it. I want it. So they ordered it for her, but I guess for some reason it was back ordered or something. So it was taking a long time to come and she, and I don't know if she kind of forgot about it, but when she got that thing, oh my gosh, she's so excited. And she's been playing, she plays with it every morning before she goes to school. She plays with it in the afternoon, you know, when she has time to do that. And she just loves it. But one day she came to, up to me and she said, Mimi, I need a washer and dryer for my Barbies. I said, what do you mean you need a washer? She goes, when I take the clothes off, I need to wash them. <laughs> I said, really? I said, your Barbie dream house didn't come with a washer and dryer? No. I said, okay, well, let's look on, let's look online and see if we can find a washer and dryer. Well, of course we did, you know, um, not the Barbie brand, but a different brand. And so I said, oh, look at this one. Yeah, I want that, I want that. It's like $16. And I said, well, when can you buy it for me? When can you buy it for me? I said, well, let's see, when is the next holiday, you know? And then I'm like, well, you already had your birthday. Then March is St. Patrick's Day now. I said, oh, maybe for Easter, maybe the Easter Bunny will bring it for you, you know? And she goes, okay. You know, so right when her mom came home that day, she goes, Mom, when's Easter? And my daughter says, why? You know, like, what brought that up? She says, because I'm getting a washer and dry, a Barbie washer and dryer for Easter. And she says, you are? She says, I don't know if the Easter Bunny brings that kind of stuff, you know? And she says, yes, he does. Mimi said like, oh no, I'm in so much trouble. I'm always getting in trouble because she says I just spoil her too much. I spoil all of, I have spoiled all of them, but she's, you know, she's like my baby. So yeah, I guess I do spoil her a little, just a little bit. But anyway, so she has not, she's five. She has not forgotten either. She keeps saying, when's Easter? When's Easter? How many more days till Easter? Is Easter tomorrow? You know, because they don't really have any concept of dates and stuff. And um, her mom started putting up Easter stuff right tonight. And she goes, Mimi, Easter is tomorrow. I said, no, Easter is not tomorrow, but pretty soon. And she says, and I'm getting a Barbie washer and dryer. <laughs> so she is not going to forget. She is not going to forget. I'm going to have to get that for her. It's, I think it's like $16, you know, so that'll be my Easter present from her. Mom could do the candy and the eggs and stuff. And then, of course, I'll have to get the three other girls something that they like, you know, because that's not fair. But anyway, so that's that. That's that. <laughs> She's too much. She doesn't forget anything. Um, the little silicone stuff I got for my other granddaughter's Stanley Duke. She had a silicone fitting that was lost. And so her straw just is flopping around. They didn't fit. None of the stuff fits her cup. So I don't know. My son got it off TikTok. So I don't know if I can look on TikTok maybe and see if they have matching extra parts for their whoever, whatever the cup is that they were selling. I don't know. I'll ask him about it and see if maybe he can find it because I don't really go on TikTok that much. Um, oh, you know what? I've been meaning to tell you for the last two videos, I've only done two videos, but the last two videos, I got these. Okay, I have always said I am not wearing Crocs. I don't like Crocs. I lived in Oregon 
for a while with my other daughter and everybody up there wears Crocs. And my, my older daughter kept saying, mom, you need Crocs. You know, you can wear them. If you just get the regular Crocs, you can wear them in the water. You can wear them, you know, cause we, we did do a lot of water excursions or whatever. Like we would go to the lake and, you know, we go in swimming holes and stuff. It's so beautiful up there. And I just refused. I said, no, I don't like them. I'm not gonna pay that much for them. And that's that. So, uh, I don't know, it's probably been a month or six weeks or so ago. I have slippers, but they're open toe and they're fuzzy and they have a regular sole on the, not a regular sole, but you know, like a rubbery sole on the bottom. But I don't like to wear those outside because it's been wet and, you know, I just don't want them to get ruined. So I just happened to watch a video by MC Beaters, Caroline, and she had hauled these shoes and she said, this is my second pair. I love these house shoes. I can wear them outside. And she goes, they're so comfortable and everything. So immediately I'm on Timu looking for them, right? Well, I happened to find them and they were only $2.68. So I have a really narrow foot. So I was like, oh, I'll get a pair and see, you know, if they're gonna fit me, O-M-G. As soon as I put them on, I said, I need to order another pair. So I immediately got on there and went to order another pair, sold out in my size because they were only two sixty-eight. They had white with pink and those were like eight something. They had a um, little bit different style, but no, I wanted the same ones. I knew I should have ordered two pairs, but I didn't know if they were gonna fit me, you know? I didn't know. I'm like, I'm gonna stock up. I'm gonna get another pair, at least one more pair, maybe two more pairs, so I never without them, because I love them. I mean, I even think they're kind of cute now, but let me show them to you. I have them on right now. I basically wear them 24 seven. They're these. They're kind of, they've grown on me because I always thought Crocs were so awful and these kind of just look like a cuter version in my opinion. This is what the bottom looks like. Oh, is that a rock in there? <laughs> I took the dog out. I take the dog out every morning when um, my daughter comes to pick up my youngest for TK and then he knows it's his time to go play outside. So. I probably got it then. I don't know. Anyway, these are the best. I love them. They're super light. They weigh nothing. They have this, it, mine's kind of matted down now, but this furry stuff in here. And I think me, um, hauling it with Mima, she also um, got these. And I think you can take this off and wash it. So if you got stinky tight, and you can clean it, you know, you can clean this out. I don't know how well you would get it back in, but uh, it's worth a try, I guess. I'm gonna wait till I have another pair because in my size, they don't have my size. I keep checking too. So anyway, that's that. Then I wanted to tell you about the safety chain for my, I figured it out. So here's, I can't see, let me put my glasses on. Um, here's one end of it and then here's the other end and then here's my class, which is really cute, but what a pain in the booty to put on. So it really helped having the safety chain on because I had some of these bigger beads and they're kind of heavy. And then I have to use, I have to use this. I'll show you one of these to hold the one side and then try to get she just got a regular bracelet but no I like this one but anyway it works and I like it it looks pretty here's my little beads I don't have a lot of beads yet um some of these beads I had from an old Pandora uh Pandora bracelet that my mom got me so like this big he's a frog he's really cute he's a hand blown glass frog and these are hand blown glass and sterling silver and then these are just cheapy ones and then I got this one off Timu hold on I don't know if you guys can see it 
there he's an owl i love owls in case you didn't know <laughs> anyway so that's that it worked out it's the bead stayed on while i was fiddling with it trying to put it on and it worked out great um i have my socks on my new socks i got <clears throat> That I got. Oh, it's kind of twisted. Hold on. I got it all twisted up. Here they are. <laughs> They're cute. They're comfy. Um, it was really nice today. The sun was out. It was like 64, 65 degrees today. So that's like the warmest day we've had in a while. But I'm, I'm not looking forward to hotter weather. Um... But anyway, it was so nice. I was able to take the dog out and um, play with him. He loves to play fetch. And he looks forward to that every day. But it's been really wet and rainy here in California. So uh, the ground is just ugh, saturated. And he gets all muddy. And then he stinks. And so today was really the first day that he was able to go out and play for quite a while. So he had fun. I'm going to try try being the operative word here try to insert some pictures when I edit this so maybe there'll be a picture here or here or here or here I don't know somewhere I'm gonna try to put a picture of him or a little video maybe I could splice the little video I took of him playing so you guys could see him I love my dog um anyway that I got a few minutes of vitamin D and that helps and then um, I'm still waiting for a few more items that I ordered for my wreath. And then I'll probably do, I think it's in my next order. So then I'll probably do um, a wreath video, making the wreath. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, we've been, I've been jabbering for 17 minutes already. So I'm going to get into this huge bag. It's a big haul. And then... And I'm back to getting the Timu on my bag. And of course it's all taped and cut up. So maybe my my conspiracy theory was right about the white bags. Okay. This I got is a chunky um it's like the blanket yarn. If you're familiar with yarn, it's um uh, it's probably like a size five bulky and it's a, just a cream color. I know some of you probably aren't even interested at all in yarn. I'm sorry, but I do a lot of crocheting. So anyway, Ooh, it's really soft. It has like 1% cashmere or something. I don't know how good 1% is, but it's really soft. It's nice. And this was, it's size five. I just cut the... And it was two forty eight for. Hold on, did I write it on the other one? Of course I didn't. Sorry, I tore it off before I told you. It was two forty eight for. It's only one and a half ounces, but this I don't know how many yards that comes out to, or feet or inches or whatever. But anyway, I got two of those just to try them, and one's never enough, so I got two of those. I do have more yarn. Sorry, I think I was on a yarn kick. Let's see. Okay, I got red yarn. I think I got two of these as well. Yep. And these were 278 for for two. And they are 3.53 ounces each. And they're the the thinner Chanel yarn. Let me see if I open it. Sorry, I should have opened one beforehand. It's really pretty. It's super soft. It feels like velvet. It's called Chanel yarn. And it's thin, like a regular size yarn. Maybe a tiny bit bulkier. Sorry about my nails. Yes, they need to be filled really bad. And I probably will do them this weekend. I do them myself, so... Um, yeah, so I've used this before, this particular yarn, and I like it. It works good. doesn't um, tear or it's pretty good. It's pretty good for off-brand, if you will. Okay, I'm just going to get all the yarn out of the way really quick. 
I got a whole pack of pink because I forgot I bought pink in the last haul. But this comes as, maybe I thought it might be different because this is a four pack and it was a different seller. And this four pack, which is 100 grams each um, skein, was $8.78, but it's now $7.89. That's a pretty good deal for Chanel yarn. I don't know if you guys want me to take it out. It's the same as the red. It's just, sorry, I'm just going to throw this over here. And then I got this white yarn, and this is kind of like the blanket yarn that I got, but it looks like it's a little bit thinner, and so I wanted to try it, of course. And this one was uh, $1.25 for each roll or skein. It's now $1.99, and it's $1.25. Seven six ounces, so it's a little, and I, yeah, I think it's a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker than the Chanel, but a little bit thinner than that blanket cream blanket yarn I just showed you. That's so smushy soft, I love it. And I got two. I think this is the last one, and then I got blue, and this is com this is different because these are bigger skeins. These are fatter, longer, bigger. Um, it's the same size yarn, so it's just a Chanel worsted weight, like number four, but these are 7.05 ounces each, and so this was, I paid $9.78, and it's now $8.79, and I think that's a really good deal. This yarn is normally really expensive, and um, these are the bigger skeins, so I think it's worth it. Okay, I think that's all the yarn. Sorry. Okay. I got this. This is one of those sprayers. I'm hoping that you spray and it shh. Um, we have one already, but my daughter put tea tree oil in it, and now I can't get the smell out of it. And I use this to do the baby's hair. Well, my youngest granddaughter's hair. Wait a minute. Is it broken? What is that? What the heck? I hope this is one of those. It may not be the automatic. I don't know. I should have put water in it and checked it out. But this is, I think it's broken and there's a piece in here. What is this? Where does this go? What the heck? Is it, no, because then you wouldn't be able to do, oh, maybe this is just a guard to keep the, to keep this from breaking when it's shipping well that didn't work because it was at the bottom of the bag but maybe that's what that's for it just locks it see it kind of fits up in there like that maybe that's what it is I hope it works it seems like it's gonna work anyway I'll let you know how that works and if it's the automatic well not automatic but I don't know if you guys have seen those where you spray them and the spray goes out it's really nice I'm pretty sure it is yeah it's got this, so it pumps the water up in there. Well, it pumps water up in there, but this somehow activates it, so it comes out in a longer, a longer spray. Anyway, I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing how that works or if you know what I'm talking about already. Anyway, it's a 6.76 ounce capacity, and it was 4.49, and that really was the cheapest I could find. I could have sworn I spent way less on the other one that I bought, but and it was clear on the bottom and white on the top, or vice versa, or something. No, it was clear on the bottom, and um, I could have sworn I spent way less, but this was the cheapest I could find. I kept looking and looking, so there's that. I'm not gonna put that over there. Okay, sorry, this is taking so long. I'm already 24 minutes in, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so as a lot of you, I was um, a lot of you that are my age, t growing up in the 80s, there's my tissue. Material mom saves these, you know, she might need them. She's <laughs> just kidding. But they do come in handy if you need them. Um, I was mostly a rocker chick if you will i like the 80s hair bands and i liked a lot of music actually my taste in music is very eclectic i love country and western i love 80 i mostly love 70s 80s 
and 90s music, but and even 60s music, actually. I grew up, my mom loves music, so I grew up on her music and my music and my kids' music, and now my kids know all my music that I love, plus the music that they love. But anyway, um, so recently, I got back into this band that I used to like when I was a teenager, and um, I saw Aaron from Hey Everybody Haul This, and I said, I have to have that, and I immediately went and put it in my cart. This is how this is how addictive Timu is. You just automatically say, oh, I gotta have that, and jump over to your cart and say, get in my cart right now. Anyway, this is a 2XL. I don't know if it's gonna fit me or not, but it says The Cure. And it's so cute. Look at that. It's the cat and the moon. The cat and the moon. It's from one of their albums. Anyway, it's super soft and it's not shiny. Well, it's it might be a tiny bit shiny, but not. it's not like that other material. This feels more like a cotton t-shirt. It's super soft. You know it's probably 100% polyester or 99% polyester and 1% elastane. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I made a liar out of me. It is. 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. <laughs> anyway, I liked it. I hope it fits me. It's probably going to be tight. Dang it. Oh, I wanted to show you my shirt I have on today. The sweatshirt with the my bully on there. My dog, even though he's not white. <laughs> Anyway, this fits really good. It's a little snug, but I like it. I just, it's kind of all around the neck. It's not tight or anything, but it's just kind of a high neck. And I don't know if that's because I usually wear my stuff so much bigger, but I like the way it feels. I like the way it fits. I like it. And it's my dog who I love. So I love it. Okay. Um. Oh, I got this notebook because I'm forever writing stuff down, especially for Timo, for YouTube, whatever. So I got this. I thought I'll just put it, get a notebook and just keep it all in there instead of getting like a spiral notebook, which is always a mess. Oh, it's nice. It kind of feels like fake suede. And oh, it's magnetic. Has a thing to hold your pen. Hopefully it's lined paper, because I write so crooked. Yeah, has a place to put the put the date, and it's lined paper. Oh, and you can mark the, the day of the week on there, and all the pages are the same, and I believe it's uh, 200 pages, 200 pages, and I paid, 560 for it and it's now sold out but there was other ones I saw and they're just about the same price as what I paid you know other sellers were selling it so there's that all right I'm gonna take a break because it's almost been 30 minutes well take a break you guys won't notice but I'm gonna pause this for a second and I'm gonna go get my special guest I'll be right back Hi. Hi, we're back. This is my granddaughter. Do you want to tell them who you are? Hi, my name's Chelsea. And, um... You're how old? <laughs> Ooh, you smell good. Uh, she smells good. Um, do I tell them? Do you want to tell them how old you are? Or you don't? Oh, I'm... I'm ten years old. <laughs> you forgot? <laughs> I was going to say forgot. nine. Yeah, we're so used to you being nine, huh? Her yeah. birthday's in November, my birthday's in November. You think I would remember, right? <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you. I tried on the Cure shirt while I was waiting for her, and it's a little tiny, unfortunately. But yeah. maybe I'll lose some weight. But look, it's pretty tight. Okay. I should have got the 3X. It's like Halloween time. Yeah, know. it's it's a band shirt, but mm. it's pretty tight. <laughs> but I wanted to try it on for you guys and show you. Okay, so... 
You're going to tell them what you got and what you bought on Timu? Okay. So, I made... Where's your bag? I don't know how you want to do it. However you want to do it. Okay, I put the prices right here for you. Okay. So. You better get your stuff out. Uh, She's really nervous. Uh, I'm really nervous still. Okay, okay. First we got the coasters. Okay. So, first we got these 50 coasters for your car. They're to hold your drinks. Um... They're two dollars and eleven cents, and they're now for two dollars and twenty-four cents. Take them out and show them if you can. She's gonna give them as a gift if you can do it without ripping it. Or um, my friend, she's a big Swifty. The big um, Swifty, isn't everybody? Yeah. Pretty much, huh? Yeah. And right. it has our musical stuff on it. It's super cute. I think she's going to like it. They're the little coaster um, cup holder protectors that go in the bottom. Yeah. Anyway, she thought she could put them in the back of her mom's car or wherever yeah. she sits. So, and then what else did you get? We got, uh, we got this pin. It says, in my Travis Kelsey era. Travis Kelsey is Taylor Swift's boyfriend. boyfriend. Everyone's so excited in the Super Bowl. Everybody they loves them. They engaged. Uh, okay. Show them it, okay, go slow so they can see it. There you go. In my traps because of There you go. I'm shaking. Uh, it's okay. Like, it's jumping. okay. You want to put it back in the bag so you don't forget? Yeah. Uh, it's, it cost $1.34. And right now it's still the same price, $1.34. And she used her own money to pay for it. I just ordered it for her. Because I don't have a Oh. She doesn't have a Timu account. <laughs> what 10-year-old does? Hopefully not a lot. That's pretty scary. Oh, my friend does. Does she? Oh, my Lord. Uh, then we have this Swifty makeup bag. She doesn't have to put her makeup. She just can put Yeah, you can put anything in there. Let's, let me show better. Oh, it's on both sides, too. Yeah. That's nice. Look at that. And it's like, it's like, I like the texture. Yeah, it's like a canvas yeah. material. It's pretty big. It's uh, 9.25 inches by 6.9 inches by one and a half inches oh. with, um, oh gosh. width or whatever. That's cute. And you paid how much? I paid $2.99, uh, $2.99 and for right now, it is $2.69. Yeah, 30 cents cheaper. Mm -hmm. So we, I think I got a price adjustment. So I might owe you 30 cents. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what she got. She. When are you going to the birthday party? Uh, in two days. In two days, so we really had to get this done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them what else I have in Oh, she wants to show you what else she got her for okay. her birthday, yeah? Yeah. Okay, this is not from Timu, but some more some more goodies that she got her she wants to show you guys. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Oh, is there stuff in here? Or is that the stuff you already showed? Yeah, that's the okay. stuff already. So first we have this bag that I got. Oh, sorry. It says Spread Kindness. Oh, so cute. And it has a little... Um, a little book bag. A little truck. Yeah, with the old truck on it. That's yeah. cute. And it costs a like I think a dollar twenty five. You don't have to tell them if you don't want to. A dollar twenty five. Oh, that's cheap. From uh, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Dollar twenty five. Okay. Dollar twenty five. Dollar Tree. <laughs> you don't have to tell them the price of everything. Oh yeah, yeah, but I'm okay. Sure you want me to hold the bag while you yeah. dig into it? She's got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, go ahead. So first, I got this claw clip. For a dollar a twenty-five from again Dollar Tree. Okay. Um, then we got another clocklet that is humongous from and it's for a dollar twenty-five from Dollar Tree. Yay, um, Dollar Tree! We love Dollar Tree too. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a little snack. A little snack. Um, I forgot where I got this. Probably in the pantry. 
Oh, no. No, I uh, bought it. She bought them. Probably maybe at the dollar store then. Oh yeah. And I like of these. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> she got them out of the pantry. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Just kidding. Um, we have this nail kit. It used to be mine, but I didn't use it. Um, I got it for my birthday. I think it cost like five ninety nine. Uh, but it did come it's with glittery. Them. That's yeah. pretty. It came with um nail polish remover, like a little tiny bottle with a little pack. Oh, that's nice. Maybe we can find small. I don't know if we're gonna go to the store before then, but that'd be cute to put in there. Yeah. These are like really cute Eastery colors. Mm -hmm. And I think she's gonna like it. I don't know. I hope so. I'm sure she will. Yeah. She's good. If her mom it. lets her play in nail polish. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Listen, I accidentally added this in here. Okay. okay. So I was trying to carry on. Okay. Are you gonna stick us first? Okay. So I got this sticker um from from Leap. I get I collect stickers from Leap because I was gonna give them to my little sister. So that's, that's a program at school, by the way. Leap. Yeah. Oh, so Gwen, she wears a lot of inklets from like when she, uh, when her parents go on trips. Uh, they bring her back some jewelry. Like charms uh, for a charm bracelet or, or like just jewelry, period. Jewelry. Wow, nice. Uh, so I made her this little inklet and she loves her squishmallows. So. Oh, squishmallows. Uh, oh, cute. You made that? Yeah. Oh, with your kit you have, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Nice gifts. And then we have this uh, hand sanitizer and it is rose scented. Mmm, who and doesn't love ro I mean, hand sanitizer. We all need that. Yeah, and she has a lot connected to her backpack. <laughs> <laughs> she collects hand sanitizer. <laughs> hey, you can never have too much hand sanitizer because mm. you got to share it. Yeah, and then we got this for $1.25 at the dollar store. There's more stuff. I, like. I think that's the last thing. Uh, oh, no, there's another sticker. I think that's it. Okay, uh -huh. go ahead. Oh, two more stickers. Uh, we got this turbo. Um, oh, it's not using. Uh, so I just thought of giving it to her because when we went to this apricot festival, uh, people were handing out cheer um, papers. Cheer information to be a cheerleader in, in our area. Well, mm, close to our area. Yeah. So they gave us this little bow with it, and she does cheer. She does oh. wildcats. So I thought it kind of match. Yeah, that's nice. And then you have two more things. Two more things. So we got another thing from Leap, the program. It says howdy. Howdy. Because it's like. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got this from Leap to it. Well, we What's on that one? Oh, it's like the like, planets and stuff, like yeah, like stars and moons and, and Saturn and aliens. Yeah, that's cool. And we get stickers when we answer uh, answer right, or like a candy or whatever. Did I show them this? I didn't. Oh no, she has one more thing. She was in her lap. One lot. more thing. Uh, we got this pretty pebble bath thing. What is it? It's, it's not food? It's not food. It's, it it's is for bath scented bath dust yes. that's Fruity Pebbles. That's so cool. It's got yeah. Fred and Barney on there. Who's cool. That? That's from the Flintstones. That's who the oh. Fruity Pebbles. Who's that? Who's that? Everybody in my channel knows who Fred and Barney are, I think. From the I Flintstones. Think. Meet the Flintstones. They're a modern, modern Stone Age family. All right. So is that it? Um. I yeah. Know, Do you want to say goodbye or? Yeah. What? I don't want to leave. Huh? I don't want to leave. You don't want to leave? Mm -hmm. I gotta finish my video. You want to stay in here while I finish yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. I want to help you. Oh. Okay. She's gonna help me with the rest of the Timu haul. All right, so we're just going to put your stuff here, and you can grab stuff out of there. Okay. Yeah, in the bag. Okay, so first we're going to start off. Yeah, we're not starting. I, this is already halfway through or more. 
Okay, this I got is a, like a little mat. Let's see, let me open it. I thought I could stick it on top of my dresser or whatever. It's kind of like a, to, to protect it or whatever. I thought it was gonna be, it kind of, it has a black back. It's actually like a mat, like a rug, but it's not. It's like that, almost like a mouse pad, but bigger. <laughs> anyway, I thought I could cut it and put it on top of my nightstand. I don't know. It's all right. Well, it's kind of cheesy. I like the pattern. It does, it's supposed to be really white, but because the background is black, it kind of looks gray, dirty-ish looking. I don't know. Does it look dirty to you? Yeah, kind of. Kind of, huh? The white doesn't look really white. But how much was it? Four dollars and eleven cents. So, whatever. Yeah. Bigger than a placemat, but maybe I'll just make it the dog's, the dog's mat for his or water. Or you could put it in front of your door. Yeah, but I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of disappointing. It's all right. Yeah. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. this I got. Um, this is like. A repeat buy, but not from Timo, from that other place that we don't talk about when we do Timo hauls. <laughs> anyway, um, this is uh, for bath powder, and I have one that I use all the time, but after you use it, you put the powder in it and then in the puff, and after you use it for a while, because it comes out the bottom of the puff, the puff gets um, kind of matted after you used it. And then the hole just, it just pours through the hole. So I got a new one and it was $1.27. I paid $1.27. It comes in pink, baby blue, and mint green. Ooh. So you can see the little. I kind of like the color of mint green. Yeah, the mint green's pretty. Anyway, so you just put the powder in the dust puff in the top and then you just hold, it just stays in here. Here's my old one. It's basically the same. Oh, this one's bigger, way bigger. This one. Did you open this? No, I didn't open that yet. Oh, um, yeah, that's just the way it came. Good old damage. box is damaged. And um, this is a big lazy Susan. I was gonna stop the video and put this together for you, but I think I will um, do that because it's been so long. Our video already has been pretty long um that i'll put it together but i'm gonna put it in uh it's not for the kitchen it's for my bedroom anyway it's the well you'll see it when i put it together i can take it out of the box and just kind of show you yeah i'm gonna put my perfumes and oh. whatever that's all over my dresser right here and in, in front of me <laughs> and hopefully it's pretty nice i paid let me write i paid it's three tier I paid eleven eighty seven and get this, it's now seven fifty seven and I did not get any price adjustments on it and I don't quite understand that. Yeah. I really don't. Seven fifty seven. I might just buy another one and, and have it for a present because that's so cheap. Eleven eighty seven I thought was cheap because some of them were going for like eighteen, twenty dollars. She'll take it. She'll take it. Anyway, I'll show you just I'll just show you some of the parts because I don't want to take up too much more time. Do you have more stuff? Or just one more thing? Oh no, yeah, more stuff. Oh. Okay, so the pieces are like this gray color. This is the lazy Susan on the bottom. And then I'll have three tiers and then it has these Oh, they're still like heavy metal. That's nice. I'm assuming these are like screws or something in here. Oh, I can show you a little picture. That this is what it's so going to look pretty. like. Except my... Um, it's not gold? It's gray. These pieces are gray. Like silver gray. Anyway, silver. I will show you guys on my next video. I'll, maybe I'll do a little... But yeah, I was kind of excited about that until I found out today when I was checking prices that it's way cheaper. Okay, this is a... I don't know what to call it, like a flannel vest. Remember I got the, in my first video, I showed you guys the white uh, long sleeve fitted top I got and I said I was gonna put it, wear it under a, what are you doing? 
wear it. She's distracting me. <laughs> wear it under this vest that I was getting that I hadn't gotten yet. So anyway, this is it. I have not. Oh, this. Oh, there's the tissue. And every package. Calm down. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's really long. Holy moly. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's really nice. It's actually a, a real flannel feeling. It's not very soft on the inside, but the outside is really soft. It's kind of heavy duty. Let me see. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It doesn't have sleeves. And then I can't really show you because I'm so close, but let me see if I put it up here to my neck. It comes down to the top of my knee and I hope it's going to fit me because I got it even bigger than I normally get because I went off the measurements. Sorry. And I got a 4X. So hopefully I liked it. It looked really cute on the model. You know how that goes. <sighs> they always look better on the models. I thought it looked cute with like black leggings or whatever. Okay, what else do I get? Yeah. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. I finally got um, some necklace, the magnetic things, because I can never put my necklaces on. I got that new necklace in my first video with the little rings on it. I haven't been able to put it on because the, the clasp, ugh, the clasp is so tiny and I can't do anything when I have long nails. I can't do clasps. So anyway, I got these and they come five. Oh, so shaky. They come five in a pack. And they are. Ooh. Oh, they're magnetic? Yeah. So when you, you put, <laughs> you put one side on one side of the necklace and then the other side, and then you don't have to use that clasp. You just do that. Mm -hmm. And these were, I paid $1.66 and $1. they're $1.70. And you get five. And they do have, um, these are just, um, I don't know, silver, but they come in different colors, gold and um, I think rose gold. And then they also have sterling silver and I wanted the sterling silver ones, but I think they only came two in a pack and I really wanted just a bunch for like costume jewelry. So, okay. Well, this I got before I got the, tripod that I have you guys on right now I um, ordered this about the same time so this is just one of those little this is a little tripod thing I really like the one I have on the have on right now no you don't have it on you have your phone on it okay anyway and then this goes on here and you can put it I think you can put it I think you can put it either way maybe not I don't know I don't know anyway this was only a dollar thirty so I thought oh, I'll just try it I didn't know what I was gonna need to be able to do YouTube so and it's now a dollar ninety eight that's that oh I got the velcro strips or um, I'm gonna put my um, I'm gonna use these to put my bed skirt on I still haven't done that so they're just velcro strips they you get 20 pieces they're a dollar six I paid a dollar 69 they're like a dollar 97 now so they're just I don't know what like maybe like five inches long and did I say you get 20 of them? Yeah, you get 20 pieces. So, that's that. Is that it? No, there's oh. more. There's more? Oh. This is just a Swiffer rag, a Swiffer cover. Not a rag. A cover it goes on your Swiffer. Oh, is that gonna fit on my Swiffer? I don't think so. I don't think this is, maybe. I don't know. Is that gonna fit on the end of a Swiffer? Anyway, I thought I would try it. Oh, it stinks. It smells like rubber. Oh, I can smell that. Oof, that stinks. That's gonna have to be washed before I can use it to wash the floor. And then um, I got these. When we have our nails on, we need these by the sinks to scrub under our nails. So I got a 
I think there's 20 in here. Shoot, where's my glasses? Right here. Oh. She could probably see it before I get my glasses on, but let's see. I think there is, did I not write it down? I thought it would stay on here. No, I didn't write it down. I didn't do that this time. I think there's 10 in here. You get 10, and of course I got pink. And uh, I paid a dollar, <coughs> excuse me, a dollar thirty-eight for ten, and they're a dollar thirty-four now. Last thing. Last, thing. Last item. Last one. Oh, I thought this was so cute. Okay, scissors. Nope, I didn't bring my scissors over here. Okay. In the wing. Oh, thank you, trusted helper. I paid a dollar ninety-eight for this. And it sold out, and I really looked to see if other sellers had it. I found it in different colors, but I did not see it in this color. So, I don't know. Are you tangled up? It looks so cute. It is cute. It's really a... It's just costume jewelry. It kind of looks like Mad Hatter. I know. It kind of reminded me of Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, he's Mad Hatter. He's the one that has all the cups. He's the tea party. Right. Anyway, it's a bunch of tea cups. And look at... They kind of move around on their own. They're on a baby tree. They're so cute. Oh, these don't. These are... They kind of wobble around. Oh, no, they do. Oh, I think they're magnetic or something. They feel weighted. Anyway, they're really cute. So they're just little teacups, and then the bottom teacup has the saucer. They're really cute. Oh. I did see a black and white one that's similar. I thought this one was so cute for like Easter or something. And then they had a uh, navy blue and white, and I think that's it. But I had the I had the black and white one in my cart and it was sold out from the seller, so I just got this one. I'm like, I'll just see how I like it. And it's a gold chain. And did I say how much it was? A dollar ninety nine, yeah. Dollar ninety eight. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, that is it for today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for liking if you like this video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you to Chelsea, my granddaughter, for coming and being my special guest. Uh -huh. And maybe she'll come again when she buys some more Timu stuff or does something fantastic that she just needs to share with us. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. I make a lot of videos, so I'm going to make sure you do it. And smash that like. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.